kwa hivyo kuna kuna mtu tulikutana miaka mingi iliyopita actually around 30 29 years ago na nafikiria kumtumia mnasemaje yeah. hallelujah <laughs> yeah. amekuwa rafiki yangu na nikianza tukianza hapa ndiye alikuwa interpreter wangu na wengine wakaja kina Steve wakaja so ni mtu na mudhamini sana na nampenda zaidi amen amen hata amejitambua tu celebrate celebrate It's also good to be married. Ni vizuri pia kuwa umewa. And to be married right. Na kuoa kwa sawa. Is a privilege from God. Hiyo pia ni tunu kutoka kwa Bwana. I have nothing to give God. Sina chochote cha kumpatia Bwana. Except giving myself to serve him. Ila kujipatiana kwake kumtumikia. Amen. Amen. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you. Baba, tunakushukuru. For blessing us since morning. Kwa kutubariki kutoka asubuhi. We are here now to hear from your table. Tuko hapa sasa kupokea kutoka kwa meza yako. We ask you to bless us in the new month. Na tunakuuliza Bwana ukatubariki kwa mwezi mpya. I pray that the church may find rest. Naomba Bwana kanisa likapate pumziko. That every family will find rest. Kwamba kila familia litapata pumziko. Every man and a woman will be blessed. Kila mwanamume kwa mwanamke wakapate pumziko. The youth will be blessed. Hata wanarika wakabarikiwe. The children will be blessed. Watoto wakabarikiwe. Father speak to us again. Baba tuongeleshe tena. And by the end of the day na uh, tutakapofikia mwisho we will give you glory and honor tutakupatia utukufu na heshima this we pray in jesus na name na hii tunaomba kwa jina la Yesu Kristo somebody say amen na mtu aseme amina can you give the lord a hand clap tumpatie bwana shangwe shangwe amen 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 thank you choir we appreciate you very much asanteni waimbaji twawaenzi sana and the band we really appreciate when damaris ran the themes of the year wakati damaris ali alitupatia zile mada za mwaka being a year of increase every month we had a theme Uh, ukiwa ni mwaka wetu wa ongezeko kila mwezi tumekuwa na mada and this month we have the theme of rest na mwezi huu tuko na mada ya kupumzika she taught on friday and the reverend mano has taught this morning uh, aliongea ijumaa jioni na ye reverend mano akaongea leo asubuhi allow me to also continue from there na ninaomba mniruhusu niweze kuendeleza kutoka hapo. You can write the topic unveiling the secret of all round rest. Uh, na mnaweza kuandika mada ni kwamba kufunua uh, the secret. Uh, ile siri ya pumziko kutoka pande zote. Yeah, I like the emphasis on all round rest. Napenda kula kusisitizwa kwa pumziko kutoka pande zote I can confirm to you Naweza kukudhibitishia You are not only going to rest on one place Kwamba hautapata pumziko tu kwa eneo moja You are going to get rest all round Utapata pumziko kwa maeneo yako yote You missed a place to say Apo amen Nikosa nafasi ya kusema amina Joshua 21:43 to 45. Ah, uh, Yoshua 21:43 mpaka 44. And I want to read. And it has some. So the Lord gave to Israel all the land of which he had sworn to give to their fathers and they took possession of it and they dwelt in it continue up to 45. The Lord gave them rest 
all round according to all that he had sworn to their fathers. And not a man of all their enemies stood against them. The Lord delivered all their enemies into their end. 45. Not a word failed of any good thing which the Lord had spoken to the house of Israel all came to pass. We go now to 43. Trudy Pale I want to extract around the uh, six items from that text. Nataka kuchukua mambo kama sita kutoka kwa hilo neno ambalo tumesoma. When you look at the first verse, ukiangalia ule mstari wa 43, the Lord gave Israel all the land which he had sworn to give their forefathers. Ni kwamba Bwana akawapatia Waisraeli nchi yote aliyowapia baba zao. So that is number 1. I will scan through the six very fast. Number one. Every promise is going to be given to the children of God. You would have said amen. The many promises of God. The Lord is going to give them to us. Have you got that one? Say amen. Just believe in what I'm telling you. Every promise that was given. Either to us or to our fathers. We are going to be given. Rest in an as is an aspect of faith. Believe in what I'm telling you. Number two. When you are given, take possession of the promise. That is why the Bible says and they took possession of it. You can be given a promise but you don't possess it. Caleb was promised Promised. He possessed and ran with it for 45 years. I speak possession of every promise. Listen to me. You can be given. But you don't possess it. Some people even come to receive prophecies here. After one year you don't see them They have run away They don't possess the promise It calls for a wise man to possess Number three Settle in the promise. The Bible says they received it and dwelt in the land. Many people were given promises. They possessed. But they never settled. Even great men. Moses was taken to Mount Nebo and he was told that is Canaan he never settled in Canaan although there was a promise he possessed it he never settled there I will never forget many years back I was traveling in Amatatum between Machakon's junction 
and Machakos town. Sitawai sahau miaka mingi liopita nilikuwa na safiri kutoka junction ya Machakos ni Ketaramuka. 1994. Mwezi wa 94. And I was, where I was seated in the matatu. Na waka mahali nilikuwa ni meka uh, kwa matatu. Somebody told me. Mtu wakaniambia. You will see that building there. Unaona ile jango pale. The man got money one. Number two, he built that house. Kwamba jamaa fulani akapata pesa na akajenga huo mjengo. So he got it and he possessed. Kwanza alipo, al, alipata na akaimiliki. Aka but while he was preparing to open the house and enter. Lakini wakati alikuwa ana, anajiandaa kuifungua ndio aingie kwa ile nyumba. He died. Uh, the day of the celebration was his burial day. Ile siku alikuwa asherekea kufungua kwa nyumba ikawa ndiyo siku anazikwa. He never dwelt in it. Hakukaa ndani yake. So this day, hivyo siku ya leo, I come as a prophet. Naja kama nabii and say, na kusema, you are going to receive the promise. Kwamba utapokea ahad. You are going to possess it. Ni kweli utapokea ahad. You are going to settle in it na ut, in the name of Jesus. Na utadumu ndani yake katika jina la Yesu. Your possession will not be cut short. Sasa kule kumiliki kwako hakutakatifu. You are going to arise and occupy. Uta utainuka na ku, na kupokea. Every power raising up to cut your promises down. Na kila nguvu ambazo zinajiinua kukata kupokea kwako. I break it in the name of Jesus. I want you to know God is faithful. When was it when I saw people who got married? They boarded a plane for the honeymoon. They never tested the honeymoon because of an accident. I rebuke that spirit in Jesus' name. You will not educate your child and they fail to benefit you. You will not give to God and you fail to possess and settle. That is why you have a prophet. Not prophets, you have a prophet. By a prophet. Listen to me. They were delivered from Egypt. And by a prophet. They were reserved. You better believe what I'm saying. Amen. You shall receive the promise. Utapata, utapokea, you will possess it. Utaipokea. You will dwell in it. Na utadumu ndani yake. Number 4. Na, nambari ya nne. Found in the next verse. Napatikana mstari wa 44. The Bible says. Biblia inasema they he, the Lord gave them rest. Na Bwana akawapatia pumziko. So number 4. After settling, the Lord will give you rest on every side. I heard it from the Lord last Saturday. I was crossing somewhere just in the house. The word was repeated to me. I have never preached about rest in my life. And since I began to preach, I preach every week. A minimum of two messages. I, I have never spoken about rest. So I went to the word. And began to search. And the Lord said, Tell my people, I will give them rest all round. May this be your portion. In the name of Jesus. Number four or number five. What is going to happen? The Lord 
ni kwamba Bwana will deliver your enemies atapeana maadui kwako into your hands kwa mikono yako ah you have not heard what i said haujasikia vile nimesema don't think that everybody is happy that you are progressing. The enemies of progress feel so bad when they see you building a cathedral. They feel so bad when your son goes to first year in the university. When they realize you have a girl you are going to, a girl you are going to marry wakati wanajua kwamba uko na msichana umechumbia oh you are giving out your daughter ama unampeana msichana oh you have done an interview ama umefanya interview they start working against it wanaanza kufanya kinyume na hilo job now this time god will not deal with them sasa wakati huu mungu hatafanya na wao you just deliver them into your hands atawapeana mikononi mwako receive that grace na wewe upokee hiyo neema may every enemy of truth na kila adui wa ukweli be delivered to your hands apeanwe mikononi mwako may every opposing enemy to your progress kila adui anayepinga kuendelea kwako be delivered into your hands apeanwe mikononi mwako may every enemy of your son your daughter na kila adui be delivered into your hands. May every enemy of your marriage be delivered into your hands. And I wonder why enemies come to your home. They hate you but they come. They even hug you. Hata wanakukumbatia. Na wanaenda kutanzamia kwa mganga. I don't know why they come to you. Na sielewi kwa nini wanakuja kwako. But I come here as a prophet. Lakini naja hapa kama nabii. Every secret enemy. Kila adui wa kisiri. Of your progress. Wa kuendelea kwako. Of your prosperity. Wa kuendelea kwako. Shall be delivered into your hands. Atapeanwa mikononi mwako. In the mighty name of the Lord. Katika jina la Yesu. We cannot show mercy to them. Hatuwezi waonyesha huruma. Because the Lord deals with enemies. Maana Mungu anakabiliana na maadui. It is you who has not dealt with them. Ni wewe hutakabiliana na wao. You need to raise your voice. Wewe inabidi uinue sauti yako. And find every scheme of enemies. Na ufunge kila ila Every secret plan of enemies of your destiny. Ila za kisiri za maadui zako. May it be exposed in broad daylight. In the mighty name of the Lord, I cancel what they said against you. And everything they wrote about you. And everything they announced about you. And everything they declared about you. Everything they declared against your children. I don't know what I'm feeling, but some of you have serious enemies, even family enemies, career enemies prosperity enemies name them i stand on this altar and i declare the plans of your enemies will not succeed oh, you are a great interpreter <laughs> I never knew that you are going to My rest. My rest, my rest, my rest. Amen. Thank you. I even feel some tears. Hata nahisi machozi. That some of you some enemies are standing against you. Kwamba wengine wenu maadui wamesimama kinyume nani. That is why you delayed. Na ndio kwa sababu ulichelewa. That is why they sacked you. That is why you lost an opportunity to get a fiance. There is a man sent of God to come and destroy this thing. May the Lord give you rest from every enemy of your destiny. 
in the mighty name of the Lord you shall not go through where your fathers went through the enemies must bow the enemies must bow the enemies must bow they want to take your husband they will not succeed I said they will not succeed he delivered their enemies into their hands and lastly number half number five number six found in the last verse the bible says not a word not a word of any good thing which the Lord has spoken to the house of Israel no word fell oh came to pass we are about to celebrate 16 years in this house and I want to announce and promise not a single prophecy that was given in this house about your life is going to fail it shall not fail whether from me or from the archbishop or from the servants of God I came to announce every prophecy that was given here is going to come to pass concerning your health concerning your children concerning your career concerning your goals concerning your family no not a single word. Somebody speaking tongues. Not a single word. Not a single word. Not a single word. Shall fail. Can you now thank God and pray? Because not a single word. Not a single word. I said not a single word. I don't care when it was said 10 years ago concerning your life not a single word is going to fail may the Lord give you rest may the Lord give you rest about every word that was spoken concerning your daughters concerning your sons we have seen our daughters getting married going to work in abroad we have seen them getting visas to go and serve God in other countries because a word was spoken here the Lord has sent me to come and say not a single word shall fail not a single word shall fail every word I said every word every single prophecy every single word somebody pray somebody pray not a single word not a single word not a single word shall fail I destroy the schemes of the devil I destroy the secret plans of the enemy I destroy the secret plans of your enemies who are working day and night to make sure that nothing comes to pass I came to prophesy I came to announce not a single one shall fail shall fail your son shall be restored your daughter will be restored your career will be restored you are going to get your property you are going to get your education you are going to get your breakthrough that delaying tactic of the devil 
I now break it in the name of Jesus. Every conspiracy of the enemy trying to make sure that you don't succeed. I break it this afternoon in the mighty name of the Lord. I call the fire of God concerning your healing. May every disease bow. Cancer, you are not catching up with us. I feel like speaking about cancer. Cancer is a disease. And by the stripes of Jesus, we are healed. Call on cancer. Cancer. You trust cancer. You trust cancer. Cancer of the prostate is cancer. We cancer break your power. In the name of Jesus. Every kind of a swelling. We break it now. Every sickness affecting your reproductive system. We break it into pieces. In the name of Jesus, conspiracies of the devil, we break your power. In the name of Jesus, may your enemies who come in one way disperse in seven ways. In Jesus' mighty name, you shall not be the tame. You will be there in the mighty name of the Lord. Wherever your wealth is held, I release it this afternoon. I release your wealth. I release your wealth. I release your wealth. I release your business. I release your progress. I release your prosperity. I release your speed. Speed, speed. Speed in the name of Jesus. 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 I announce it this afternoon. I declare it this afternoon. Your witches will disperse. You are sorcerers will run away in the mighty name of the Lord and by the grace of God you are going to see favor favor, favor in your month of rest I declare favor I declare favor I announce favor I declare favor in the mighty name of the Lord this I declare in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, everybody celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Celebrate like you possess it. Celebrate like you are settling in it. Somebody celebrate him. Hallelujah. Glory. Hey Amen. We don't just come here to stay. We, just, we don't just come to church. We come for a transformation. From this outer, things have to change. We gather here for a reason. May you experience transformation. In the name of Jesus. Sit down for a minute. I say some few things. The above. Uh, six points connotes a state of rest on all sides. Pande zote. We live in a world seen in John 1633. There is a certain world we live in. And that is how it is. These things I have so spoken to you, that uh, we are talking of uh, 
uh, 16 what? I don't know. Yes. In the world, you will have tribulation. It, it's part B. Mm -hmm. So that one is one thing. So rest may not mean the absence of tribulation. But be of good cheer. Lakini uwe wafuraha. Why? Kwa sababu gani? Jesus says, Je Yesu akasema, I have overcome the world. Ni kwa sababu nimeushinda ulimwengu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is our position. Hiyo ndiyo sehemu yetu. Even when things look like they are turbulent. Hata wakati mambo yanaonekana si shwari. Jesus. Yes. Has overcome for us. Yesu ameshinda kwa niaba yetu. That is why in Matthew 11:28. Ndio sababu Mathayo 11:28. We have an invitation. Tuko na mwaliko. Come to me. Kwamba njoni kwa. Oh you who labor and are heavy laden. Wale ambao mnasumbuka na mmebeba mizigo mizito. And I will give you what? Na nitawapea nini? Rest. Pumziko. Rest shall be your portion. Pumziko itakuwa sehemu yako. Somebody say amen. Mtu aseme amina. The two verses show that there is enough provision for rest. Ah, maandiko hayo mawili yanaonyesha kwamba kuna utoshelezi wa pumziko. Amen. Amen. Also found in John 10:10, 10, 10, abundance of life. Uh, inaonekana pia Yohana 10 mstari wa 10 ambalo linazungumzia uhai teletele. Then second Peter 1:3. Na Yohana wa 2 1 eh, second Peter 1:3. Yohana wa 2 uh, uh, kifungu ni cha kwa uh, sura ya kwanza mstari wa 3. Second Peter. Yohana wa uh, Pit, Petro wa 2 sorry. S yes, is Divine power has given us how many things? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. This is a provision. Huku ni kupewa. Pertaining to life. Kuli, uh, kwa, kwa sababu ya maisha. Life is about health, you know, goodness, peace, wealth, health, good relationships, and the godliness. Uh, maisha na uungu. Through the knowledge, kupitia kwa kumjua, when you know him, wakati unaya, unapomjua, that is a provision. Iyo tayari ni kupewa. Who has called us by glory and virtue? Ambaya metuita kwa utukufu na kwa maadili mema. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Unajua tunajua hii maneno lakini kuna watu wanayajua vizuri. Yaani vatu mimi kiswahili si kuwa najua kumbe ni maadili mema. Yes. I will not be tired of working with you. Yes. Oh kumbe tuko online. We are online. Okay let's go back to the message. So through the knowledge of him. Kwa hivyo kupitia kwa kumjua yeye. Who called you? We are called. We are already called. Ambaye alituita sisi. By his glory and the virtue. Kwa utukufu na kwa maadili mema. In a sentence let me say what rest is. Kwa sentence moja wacha ni seme pumziko ni nini. Rest is a state of freedom. Uh, pumziko ni hali ya kuwa na uhuru. From anything that makes life to be a burden. Ah, ni pum, ni, ni. Uh, to, to be freedom from anything okay. that makes life to be a burden. Ni, ku, ni kuondolewa ama kuwa na uhuru kuondolewa kwa mambo ambayo ya nasababisha maisha yawe kama mzigo. Yes. Mm. So if you have any burden. Ivo kama uko na mzigo. I'm addressing you this afternoon. Ni wewe na zungumza nawe jioni ya. You ya shall find rest. Kwamba utapata pumziko. Somebody say amen. Mtu aseme amina. 
And you know there is something very important. Na unajua kuna jambo ambalo ni muhimu sana. Found in Isaiah 59:19. Ambalo linapatikana Isaya 59 mstari wa 19. Here we really teach the word. Hapa tunafunza neno. Isaiah 59:19. Saya amsini na tisa mstari wa kumi na tisa Part B Sehemu ya ba You know the enemy will come Unajua adu ya takuja But part B says when the enemy comes in like a flood Lakini neno hapo linasema wakati adui atakuja kama maji mengi The spirit of the Lord Roho wa buwana on a your capital S, the spirit of the Lord. Angalia hiyo spirit imeandikwa na herufi kubwa, roho wa Bwana. That has a personality. Hiyo iko na utu ndani yake. The spirit is not something in the air. He see uh, roho ambayo iko tu kwa hewa. The enemy is coming like a flood. Adui anakuja kama maji mengi. To come and kill your business. Akuja angamize biashara yako. To come and destroy your family. Aaje angamize familia yako. The Bible says the spirit of the Lord. Maandiko yanasema kwamba roho wa Bwana will lift up a standard Ata, against him. Atainua kiwango kinyume na yeye. Hi, I feel like living for this God. Amina hisi kumuishia huyu Mungu. This tells me the flood of test will come. Na hii inaniambia kwamba maji mengi ya ma ya, ya majaribio yatakuja but my salvation my deliverance lakini ukombozi wangu wokovu wangu into the state of rest katika hali ya pumziko will be caused by the spirit of the lord hiyo itasababishwa na roho wa bwana what is he going to do yeye atafanya nini he is going to lift my standard yeye ataniinulia kiwango i pray for you this afternoon na kuombea adhuhuri May your standard be lifted. Kwamba kiwango chako kikainuliwe. In the mighty name of the Lord. Katika jina la Yesu. Your spiritual standard. Ile hali yako ya kiroho. Your prayer standard. Ile roho ya kiroho. Your understanding of the word standard. Kiwango cha kujua neno. Your commitment standard. Kiwango cha kuwa umejitoa. May it be lifted. Ikainuliwe. So that you can overcome the flood. Ndio kaweza kukabiliana na gari kama maji mengi. I feel like we are going higher. Nasikia kama tunapea tunapaa. We are going higher. Tunakwea juu. Makesi laba ungui tu. Watapitia chini yetu. Makoo kata kiwukinge. Atakuja kama maji mengi. Lakini level yitwe kamba tua. Lakini kiwango chetu kitainuliwa. Na makesi la ungu angilwa. Na wao watapita chini ya kiwango. Nungu beba no standard. Maana Bwana ametuinulia kiwango. I feel like shouting for Let's this girl. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And the higher you go, na vile unakwea juu, the cooler it becomes. Hivyo inakuwa nakuwa baridi huko. The scientists knew that. Wale wanasayansi wakajua hiyo. We are not going down again. Sisi hatuteremki tena. We are not going down again. Hatu hatuendi chini tena. We refuse the Swahili say. Tunakataa msamo wa Kiswahili. And I cancel it. Na nina, na nina, uh, I cancel it. Ninaukanusha. Ya kwanza kukanusha ni hii. Mpanda ngazi ushuka na ikosoa katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Ya pili inayopinga speed. Araka araka ina baraka. Na ikataa. Amen. Nataka kumaliza ule mjengo tuende tuambudu Yesu. Amen. Nataka kuumaliza haraka. Amen. Nataka hao wasichana waolewe haraka. Ah. Hey. Hey. Naomba biashara yako ikue kwa speed. Amen. Pastor ujenge hiyo kanisa watu waokoke haraka. Amen. I know the critics are saying we must obey nature. I will not obey nature. Najua najua wanaokosoa wanasema lazima tuende kiasili tuelewe na vile mambo yako. Nature will obey me. 
Hata kiasili kitatutisi. Somebody say amen. Amina. When there was a storm in the boat. Wakati kulikuwa na dhoruba kwa sababu ya ile mashua. Jesus was resting. Yesu alikuwa amepumzika pale. The disciples were worried. Na wale wanafunzi wake walikuwa wanataabika pale. The man asked for a pillow. Yule jamaa akaitisha pilo. Jesus Christ. Yesu akaitisha pilo. And, and he slept. Na yeye akalala. When they woke him up. Walipomwamsha. He wanted to know where their faith is. Akawauliza alikuwa anataka kujua And he commanded the storms. Na yeye akakabiliana na The storms come. Na yale mawimbi And they began to find out. Na wakaanza Who is this man? Je, huyu ni mtu even storms can hear him. Ambaye hata dhoruba na mawimbi yanamtii. And he went again to rest. Na yeye akarudi kupumzika. I declare I don't know whether you are joining me but I say this. Sijui kama utajiunga nani lakini nasema I am going to rest in the midst of storm. Kwamba nitapumzika katikati ya mawimbi yangu. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is why we are in the month of rest. Ndio sababu tuko kwa mwezi wetu wa pumziko. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. On Friday go opening a chance. Uh, Ijuma Mungu akifungua nafasi. I'll come to give you some five ways of acquiring rest. Nitakuja kukupatia njia tano za kupokea ama kupata pumziko. Just swallow that do that dose. Lakini kwa sasa meza dozi hiyo. It is going to bring rest to you. Hiyo italeta pumziko. One night I had a very serious pain. Uh, usiku mmoja nilikuwa na uchungu mkali and she knows na anajua so even driving and i was alone driving at 3 am to the to see the clinician was a real trouble ikawa kwamba hata kuendesha ile gari kwenda kumuona daktari ilikuwa changamoto when he was trying to search my insurance in the computer i was telling him treat me first wakati alikuwa anaangalia Uh, kadi yangu ya bima ya hospitali nilikuwa namwambia nitibu kwanza utafanya hiyo ingine baadaye he told me relax i will sort you akaniambia wewe tulia nitakupanga i tell you after i got that dose wakati nilipata hiyo dawa within two minutes uh, kwa, wa, kwa muda wa dakika kama mbili hivi i was sleeping in his coach nilikuwa nimelala kwa kitanda hapo the dose i have given you today ile dozi nimekupea leo shall cause you to rest everywhere you are going to be itakupatia pumziko kila mahali utaenda in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu and we are culminating it with the holy communion na tunai tunai hey Tunaimalizia kwa njia kubwa ya kuchukua meza ya Bwana. So that communion is for rest. Hivyo hiyo meza ya Bwana ni kwa sababu ya pumziko yetu. I will take it like I'm taking it from Israel from River Jordan. I, I desire to get it. Nitaipokea, nitaikunywa kama naipata huko Israel. May the Lord cleanse you as you partake of it. Na Mungu akuoshe wakati unaipokea. May the blood cleanse you of every iniquity. Damu ya Yesu ikaoshe kila uovu. No sin shall pursue you. Hakuna dhambi itakuandama. And this is a communion service for rest. Na hii ni meza ya Bwana kwa sababu ya pumziko yetu. Stand up on your two feet and begin to thank God. Simama kwa miguu yako miwili na uanze kumshukuru Bwana. As the deacons continue to prepare this. Ah, uh, wale deacons wakiendelea kuandaa meza ya Thanking for divine rest. Hebu mshukuru Bwana kwa sababu ya Lord I thank you for the rest. Mungu nakushukuru kwa pumziko. Thank you for the rest. Nakushukuru kwa sababu ya pumziko. That you are releasing today. Ambayo unaachilia leo. We will never be the same again we are resting in every area in the mighty name of the lord raise up your two hands and listen to me i declare over your life number one spiritual rest uh, in every area this I decree in the name of the Father the Son 
and the Holy Spirit somebody pray for a minute spiritual rest is your portion spiritual rest is your portion spiritual rest is your portion receive it in Jesus name somebody say amen number two family rest raise up your two hands I pray for every family represented here whatever kind of unrest is going on in the families I pull it down now in the name of Jesus I declare family rest in Jesus mighty name somebody say amen they are seven number three financial rest every unrest in finances in business in salaries in our income in our lost resources in our wealth possession I break it this afternoon in the name of Jesus and from this altar I announce financial rest in Jesus mighty name number four goal achievement rest every goal that you have said before and you are setting now you are setting in the year 2025 there are enemies called enemies of goal achievement the Lord has sent me this afternoon you will achieve your goals raise up your two hands I declare rest on goal achievement in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Ghost receive it in Jesus name pray for 20 seconds you shall achieve your goals 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 the church will achieve their goals you shall achieve your goals you shall achieve your goals you shall achieve your goals teachers principles teachers you will achieve the target of your performance business people business people you shall achieve the target of your, of your goals family goals marriage goals ministry goals receive a rest in the name of Jesus number five I pray for every career every career whether business or employment or education by this communion I announce rest rest career rest career rest enemies of career we break your power in the name of Jesus number six health and the bodily rest health health every disease whether sent or it brought itself or it is going to come in December 
itakuja mwezi ujao every arrow of sickness kila hali ya ugonjwa every conspiracy of early premature death kila njama ya kukua mapema of your family members watu wako wa kifamilia i declare natangaza rest pumziko you shall not bury them they will come out of hospital they shall not be admitted may every hospital bed reject you in the name of Jesus if the devil is planning that you shall undergo surgery in the year 2025 may every knife of surgery reject you in the name of Jesus I speak rest in health in the name of Jesus number seven I pray for relationships may there be in divine connections may you rest in terms of relationships may the right people come to you destiny help us may they come to you in the name of Jesus may they come to your help may the right people come in Jesus mighty name you shall rest in connections may somebody connect you to your breakthrough in the UK Hallelujah. You are breakthrough in the United Kingdom. You are breakthrough in America. You are breakthrough in South Korea. I release you to missions abroad. Education abroad. Receive such connections in the mighty name of the Lord. The seven areas by participating in this communion shall be, shall be fulfilled. Now listen to me, Kidogo. The children like my son gift they don't have to take this thing this is a thing for the born again people and the grown ups and when I take as your father if there are children I represent them Na wakati nalipokea mimi ama nashiriki kama baba mtoto ambaye ni mchanga mimi na nalichukua kwa niaba yao. So they are going to get rest. Kwa hivyo hata wao watashiriki katika katika pumziko. I have already given the areas. Tayari nishapeana uh, sehemu saba. So in the book of in the book of 1 uh, Corinthians 11:23 Ivo katika wa Korinto wa kwanza 11 The Bible says he took the bread Biblia inasema kwamba akautoa mkate akauchukua mkate For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you that the Lord Jesus Christ on the same night in which he was betrayed he took bread verse 24 24 and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. So, we are going to give thanks. We are going to break the bread. Then you are going to receive. 
you are receiving from me that is why I am cutting a very big loaf to represent all of you then verse 25 he also took the cup he gave thanks said this is the new covenant in my blood do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. That is what we are going to do. Nida Moya Yesu Wana Father, I thank you for the bread. This is your body that was given out for many. Thank you for the provision. Thank you too for the cup. The blood of the new covenant. We take it with thanksgiving. In Jesus' name I pray. Let me now cut the bread. Sasa na omega mkate As we continue to sing Tunapoendelea kuimba Come near where there is a bread and uh, and 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 the cup Utatembea ukuje mahali kuna mkate na kikombe You shall be helped by the ashes Na mashemanzi watatusaidia kutupanga Amen. Kichi to chau takaso ni zame kuwa umo namsi namsi fuwa na kwa iyo ni ne watau takaso. Na kwa hiyo nime pata 
Let us, let us now prepare ourselves. Let us now prepare ourselves. If you are a tom, get your water or another kind of a liquid. You can take any, any starch and then you take it as bread. Let's take the bread together. Let's drink together. Tukunywe kikombe kwa pamoja. May the blood of Jesus. Na damu ya Yesu. Hush you into a season of rest. Hiyo damu ya Yesu ikakuingiza katika upeo wa pumziko. The body of Jesus that was beaten many times. Mwili wa Yesu ambao ulipigwa mara kadhaa. It got several stripes. Ukapata mapigo kadhaa. May there be healing in your life. Na kukawe na uponyaji kwa maisha yako. Every sickness die. Kila ugonjwa ukakufa. Every fire on disease die. Kila ugonjwa ukakufa. Every bacterial infection die. Kila kila kuingililiwa na bacteria kukakufa. In the mighty name of the Lord. Katika jina la Yesu. May your digestive system function well. As uh, hali yako ya ku Oh God, your digestive system may your reproductive system be healed. Your lungs. Your liver, your pancreas. Yako, pancreas yako. Large and small intestines. Uh, large and uh, small intestines. You are you are heart and the ventricles and the arteries. Yes. May your veins function well. May your bones be strong. Receive restoration of calcium. In the name of Jesus. Andritis die. Diabetes die. Hali ya kisukari ikakufa. High blood pressure stabilize. Nikizo ya damu ikastabilize. In the mighty name of the Lord. Jina la Yesu Kristo. Every kind of sickness. Na kila hali ya ugonjwa. Fibroids dry now in the name of Jesus. Ufinde wote ukakufa katika jina la Yesu. We break or every kind of a cancer. Na tunavunja kila hali ya cancer. Stomach cancer die. Cancer ya tumbo ikakufa. Throat cancer die. Uh, All forms of cancer break.